Welcome back to Cure of the Common Game. Today in deck number 896, we're going to talk about Jetmere, the Nexus of Rebels. So red, green, white, we used to call that... Oh, I don't remember what, what we used to call that. Um, anyway, unimportant. 5-4 Cat Demon, it's weird. Um, now this thing, three lines of text, this is amazing. Creatures you control get plus one and vigilance as long as you have three creatures. Creatures you control also, it stacks, get plus one and trample as long as you got six creatures. And then creatures you control get another plus one and double strike if you got nine creatures. So we need this one plus eight to get the max value of plus three vigilant trample double strike, right? This is a big creature deck. That's what we want. Just a lot, a lot of creatures. So I tried to use all the slots I could with filling with creatures. There's a few non-creature spells. One that I felt really necessary was Warstorm Surge. Uh, us playing so many creatures, we might as well get some extra ETB value out of them, right? Well, let's look at our mana ramp, shall we? Now... It is mostly creatures. Yes, there's a rampant growth and a cultivate in there, but I do believe every other card is ramp. You know, the core cartographer, Keeper of Progenitus. This is perfect. It doubles our mana, the three colors. Well, forest, mountain, plains, anybody that does it. Um, so I tried to get, you know, we we're playing with some basics. So I uh, do have... Oreskos Explorer, Zerta Druid, Hedron Crawler, Fertilid. Now, Elvish Mystic and Lanawar Elves, I, I went to them straight off the bat. And then I looked for like red, I was like, Rada, heck yeah. Because, you know, tapping for mana or attacking for mana. So that's, you know... I looked at Paradise Druid tapping for a man of any color. This is great for a three-color deck. And that's when I run across the Priest of Titania. And I was like, am I really doing another elf deck? Um, I actually came to this very late. I had most of the deck done. I had about five or six slots left. And I looked around and I had, you know, it was like 14 or 15 elves. And I was like, mm, that'll work. So... Uh, the Finhorn Elder and the Elvish Archdruid, you know, making mass amounts of mana. Now, for card draw, of course, Beast Whisper was a have to for this many creatures in the deck. Humble Defector, you can always pick that player, pass it back and forth. Don't pass it to the player with a Skull Clamp, though. You'll have a bad time. Uh, Garrick's Pack Leader. Now, we got, I have two categories here. I have creatures. And then Creature Makers. But you know what? Before we get into that, a few things because we are playing so many creatures. I wanted the Overrun. Yeah, I know. Trample, we're... We almost don't need the Overrun. This could be another better creature. Because if we're doing what our commander wants to do, we have plus three and we have Trample. I know, but another one doesn't hurt. Uh, the Unbreakable Formation is, is nice since we're dealing with this many creatures. And Anti-Wrath, you know... And then our um, walkers, uh, Domri Raid. Uh, you know, if it's a creature, you can put it in your hand. The minus two, a little bit of a riddle. The minus seven, uh, crazy abilities. Vivian on the hunt, sack a creature to move up one. And then Vivian, champion of the wilds, giving your creature spells flash, pretty pretty beast right there um and then of course the visions and reach now in new capenna we got a creature tutor rocco uh now grant it is three colors you have to be in all three of those colors which we are um but you tutor it into play yeah uh you spend x and uh, i mean you know it's pretty neat now with all these creatures coming into play the souls attendant and soul warden both donated by chris thank you very much chris uh if y'all are into zombies magic zombies go check out his channel i'm teaching ghoul dude um we got 
Blood Braid Elf. I mean, it's not a bad. It's a buy one, get one free. You're going to get another spell. I mean, you don't know what it's going to be, but... And, you know, it happened to be an elf. Uh, Papa Smurf, the Odric Lunark Marshal, share and share alike on, on combat. Because uh, we have some creatures in here with some abilities. Um, Gala Greeters. Another creature enters the battlefield. Choose one that hasn't been chosen this turn. So creatures are going to be entering the battlefield quite often. Um, and, you know, the counter, the treasure, or the life, all of those things. Oh, and as it turns out, it's an elf. Face steed. Loyal unicorn. I mean, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to creatures you control. Uh, that's kind of nice. Roaring Promodox, because uh, there are some of these ETB creatures that we want to use over and over again. Myriad. Here's beautiful. Now, I didn't use the green Myriad one, but Herald of the Host. Our commander, that is a static ability that checks at all times, right? So, to whenever this creature attacks the Myriad ability, for each opponent other than defending player, you may put a token. So, as soon as you attack... And all of these other Herald of the Host tokens come out. That bumps your creature number up. Jetmere checks it. And boom. Now they're all, you know. Yeah. Now the tokens are still tapped. Because it says tapped and attacking. But uh, if it triggers him to go off to the next level. The one, the three. Or, 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 I'm sorry. The three, the six, or the nine. Yeah, so... I did the War Chief Giant as well, just for that same reason. Um, Urbrask, uh, OG Urbrask. Uh, still haven't finished this commander deck, I don't think. But making your stuff have haste and your opponent's ETB tapped. Uh, Juniper Order Ranger. I know you're seeing this more and more decks, but for hardcore creature decks, every other creature that comes in gets a 1 1 counter on it and a 1 1 counter on, on Juniper Order. I just I looked around and this thing had 15, 16 counters on it last time I played it. Um, it's often overlooked. Majestic Miriarch, twice the number of creatures you control. That's not bad. Uh, and of course the Bane Slayer. Now those um, creatures that count the number of creatures that you control, that's a whole deck in and of itself. Um, you know, could be amazing. Uh, got the new halo fountain it does create tokens and it gives you an alternate win condition um i mean some card draw uh it checks all the boxes i love the halo fountain uh the hollowed spirit keeper when it dies number of creature cards in your graveyard well we know they're going to die at some point in time the curious herd uh, have, there's there's always somebody with a lot of artifacts. How many do you have to get, though? Uh, curious Herd. You choose target opponent. You create X-3-3 three, three beasts, where X is the number of artifacts that player controls. For four mana at instant speed, how many do you have to get? I'm thinking if you get three, you're probably up, right? And somebody having three artifacts out is not that big of an ask. It's not. Uh, the Geist Honored Monk, of course, it brings two spirits and then it's power toughness. Uh, do have the Imperious Perfect. Uh, it makes elves. I mean, it, it makes creatures. As does the Elvish Warmaster. Another elf enters the battlefield. You get a elf, you know, once each turn. We got the Night Hermit brings four saplings. This four mana card gets you five creatures. So that gets you most of the way there to Jetmere. Um, Beetleback Chief. This is four mana for three creatures. Maja. Not only is she an anthem and a creature, Landfall make a creature. So, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, the Deep Forest Hermit. Here's another five mana, five creatures. Eh, it, it vanishes. Um, increasing Devotion was the first card in the deck that I thought about because uh, you get 5 now and 10 later uh, wow that that gets you there Rampaging Bailoff's hard not to do we don't have a whole lot of crazy you know, land shenanigans but 
getting a 4 4 beast every time I play a land, I'll take it. Somber Walled Beastmaster. Now, seven mana is enough to make you shy away from it, I know. But you get a 1 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and a 4 4. And then your tokens have Death Touch. That's a biggie. Because they're going to have Trample. And if you can give all your tokens Trample and Death Touch, that is, oh, it's a beautiful thing. Deploy to the front, another seven mana card. Uh, where X is the number of creatures on the battlefield. This is a super double up. And then Verdant Force. Just because it pops out of Sapperling every single turn. Each upkeep, not just yours. Moves us to removal. Um, we have all creature removal here. Gorilla Shamans, of course, going to eat up all, all them artifacts we don't like. Oh, the Kasali Pride Mage, Artifact or Enchantment. Banisher Priest for that creature we can't stand. Uh, Reclamation Sage and Cloud Chaser Eagle. Acidic Slime, all 187 creatures. Uh, and Terastodon, because, you know, <laughs> that's a big thing. And I am not... It says three target non-creature permanents. I am not above... it. If I've got the eight mana for Terastodon, I'm not above blowing up three of my own lands so that I get three more creatures to turn on Jetmere. I mean, I'll do it. I will splat my own stuff. Uh, Raging Ravine. Land becomes a creature if we need it to be. If This is one of those things that I feel like if your opponent is trying to manage how many creatures you have for Jetmere's ability, they're trying to keep you all off that double strike. Oh, well, you're one creature away. I'm a swing. Well, I'm going to activate Raging Ravine. I'm back. Now they have Double Strike. Uh, Temple of Abandon. Temple of Triumph. By the way, we're in the non-basic lands. I forgot. <laughs> uh, the Command Tower. Needle Spire, same thing, becomes a land. Got to have Jetmere's Garden in Jetmere's deck, right? I mean, it was just a thing I had to do. Racer's Ring. Blossoming Sand. Tranquil Expanse, Rustvale Bridge. I have a lot of uh, two-color lands in here simply because we are, we're asking a lot. We're asking for double white, and then we're going to need double red on the next turn, and then double green. I mean, we're, we're asking a whole lot. A Jungle Shrine. Slagwood Bridge. Evolving Wilds. Celestia Guildgate. Terramorphic Expanse, Lorehold Campus. Panoramas are looking good uh, with this set. Uh, the Grape Pelt Refuge, and lastly, the Game Trail. So that is Jetmir, uh, 896. Um, I don't have anywhere near the amount of tokens that I need. <laughs> I mean, I, I've got them, just not in the deck box. Uh, but looking forward to it, of course, it's just, it's big creature. That's all it is. You know, it's a whole bunch of creature. So we are going to go put 896 onto the wall. If we do this, can you see it? 896 on the wall. Three more to go before deck number 900. Um, I'm excited about that one. Uh, I really am. But... That's what I've got for today. I do appreciate y'all watching. Y'all let me know what you think. And we're going to shuffle and cut.